Hey everyone. One of the most popular methods for hydroponic growing is the Kratky method. And for good reason. It doesn't take any electricity, it's really easy to set up, it's cheap, and it's a set it and forget it method. Basic primer on how the Kratky method works. You take a reservoir, so in this case I'm using a mason jar, and you fill it with water, you add some nutrients, and you add enough nutrients for the plant to do the entire grow cycle. Then what you want is you want the level of the nutrients, the nutrient solution to be touching the bottom of the plant. So either the bottom of the growing medium or the roots. And then as that plant grows, it's going to be using up moisture and nutrients. And so this level is going to continue to go down, but the roots will also be growing further down so that it still has contact with that nutrient solution. Then the other thing is plant roots need oxygen. So this portion of the roots that's above the water line, that's going to be in contact with the air, allowing the plant to get oxygen. So you're gonna have some air roots up here, then you're going to have some nutrient solution roots down here. So the Kratky method is great, but here's five reasons why I don't use it. Number one, it doesn't scale easily. So the Kratky method is great when you've got just a plant or two because you can just use a mason jar or something like that. You could also use a larger reservoir, a big tote that you could put plants into. But when you're trying to really scale and grow a lot of plants in a small area, it's hard to do that because of the size of the reservoir you need for the plants to be set directly into. Reason number two, it's hard to stack Kratky systems vertically. The main reason is due to the weight of the water in the reservoir. So if you have a reservoir filled with water for your Kratky system, that's going to be really heavy and you're going to need a very strong support structure. It's also going to take up vertical space for that reservoir. So you won't be able to stack in as many systems vertically. Reason number three, it's hard to do successive planting. What I mean by successive planting is planting every few days so that you always have a crop at maturity ready to pick. So a classic example is with lettuce. If you plant one head of lettuce every day or a couple every week, you're going to have a successive harvest. Well, with the Kratky method, that can be more difficult because if you're putting all the plants into one reservoir, they're all gonna be on the same schedule. So you can't put a small plant in with a large plant because that water level is gonna to be too low for the smaller plant to reach down and get to. The only way around it would be having separate Kratky systems for each level of growth, but that adds some more complexity. Reason number four, Kratky doesn't use artificial lighting as well as it could. Let me explain. So with indoor hydroponics, when we're using artificial lighting, we wanna make the most of that light because we're paying for it. So we wanna have plants covering every square inch underneath that light to make the most of it. Well, with Kratky system, since the plants are staying in the same container the entire time, when the plant is small, it's not using the light around the edge of the area that it's taking up. Whereas once it gets to be a larger plant, then it takes up that whole area. What I like to do is have the plants really close together when they're small so that they're using up all that light, using up the space efficiently, and then spacing them out further apart as they get bigger. And finally, number five, Kratky systems can be susceptible to spills. So when you're growing outdoors, this isn't a big deal. If you spill some nutrient solution onto the dirt, it's okay. But when we're indoors, we really wanna avoid that if possible. And when you use a jar or something like that, it can be really easily tipped over, especially if you're in a house that has kids or pets. So we really wanna make sure that our systems are solid and can't be tipped over or spilled easily. So what do I like to use? I like to use a recirculating hydroponic rail system. I think this has a lot of advantages. The first thing is that it scales really easily. You can easily add more rails. You can drill more holes into the rails. You can add a lot of plants in a small area and it's not very difficult. Second thing is that you can easily stack them vertically. They don't take a lot of vertical space. It's just the height of the rail, which is a few inches. They don't have a lot of water in them at any one time, so they aren't heavy. So it's really easy to stack several systems on top of each other and make the most of the floor space that you have. The third thing I like about the system that I use is that it has successive planting built in. So the way I do it is I plant just a few seeds per week and then those seedlings move through the system till they're fully mature plants. That way I have a continual harvest of fresh produce all the time. 
and it doesn't take any extra steps. The plants are just in the system for the whole time. Then the fourth thing related to what I just said is that it uses light efficiently. So since we can put the smaller plants together really close, we're using up the light really well. And then as the plants get to be larger, they get spaced further apart. So we're really putting that light to good use. And finally, the hydroponic systems I use are very spill resistant. I've been running these systems for several years. I have three kids and we've never had a tip over or a spill. So in summary, the Kratky method can be great, especially if you're just starting out or if you have a spot outside with a lot of sunlight that doesn't have access to electricity, Kratky method can be perfect. But if you're like me and you're trying to grow a lot of produce indoors using artificial lighting, then I would highly consider you check out other options, especially a recirculating system. And if you go to my website, I have a tutorial on how to build the system that I use. Totally free guide on how to build it. So if you go there, you can check it out and um, build a system just like I have. <music>